Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we had our first Lokimon battle. And our second one. The second one was kind of an accident. But it basically is just like any other battle in RPG Maker 1. With the exception that David here, our leader, cannot actually take part in Lokimon battles. Which of course makes sense. They're Lokimon battles, not Lokimon and their trainer battles. If you want Lokimon and their trainer battles, go with Dragon Quest Monsters. Those games aren't too bad. I enjoyed them. Also, it occurs to me I did not read this sign, so let's see here. Bridge to Purple Patch Palace. So, we need to collect patches in order to get into the Lokimon League. That is slightly hard to say. Lokimon League. Slightly hard to say. Also, knowing now that David can't take part in these battles, now I know that I definitely want to use these on my Lokimon. So who could, like, use some extra strength? Let's start with Gags, because Gags is not having any spells on hand at the very start. Magic Egg, Intelligence, that's MP. Hmm. I'll hold off on that because I don't know that I'll necessarily learn anything that useful. How about defense? Well, let's check stamina first. Who's got how much health? Gags, you don't got a ton of health. You get all of these. And on that note, you also get the defense aims. Agility? Who could use the best agility? Probably our healer. Give it all to our healer. As a reminder, by the way, the Robotraz, yes, he is overpowered with his healing, but the only way to get him is by winning a specific prize at the start of the game in the arcade. Luck. Luck is evasion. You know what? Once again, give it to our healer. And that will probably do. So, let us go ahead and continue onward. We'll head to the... Gym? I guess we'll call it? Oh, what's this? It's free healing! Alright! I mean, the inn back there wasn't very expensive, only five dollars, but... Sure, this way I don't have to go all the way back. I like sh It was bound to happen. And this Pokemon parody, of course this kid would be in it. I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. You know what is more comfortable? Not wearing pants at all. Trust me, it is nice. Oh man, I want a Gryphon on my team. So Claw Slash is obviously not a great skill to have, assuming that Thundros has a good attack to start, which I'm pretty sure he does. Even better once we boost it by 50 points. Hopefully Gags will learn something interesting in the future. Yep, that was pretty decent. What is your base attack, Robotrons? Let's see what you're doing from the start. Wonder what that spell was. Well, this is it's it, it's a gags that we're fighting, so we're bound to find out. Uh, as far as the attacks these guys are causing, defense is not going to help a whole lot since attacks like Peck are technically magic. So it's always going to cause about that much damage. Okay, new skill for Robotross and Gags. And a variety of items. 
I was not supposed to talk to you from where I'm standing, was I? Why are you all standing like you were expecting me to come from the other direction? Okay, Robotroz has learned refresh. Oh, now I do not need the fairy, because this is the status restore. As for use gags, scare is petrification. That is not at all going to be useful. That is unfortunately not going to be useful. Because in RPG Maker 1, petrification only works in random encounters. And these guys are most definitely not random encounters. Well, I say that, but I mean, it won't work for me. It'll still work for them. Quit staring at me. Uh, I definitely want to Tigrius. That would be cool. Once upon a time, tigers were my favorite animal. Here, let's get some strength on gags. That guy has got a strong attack. I'm a little afraid to talk to these trainers a second time. They might force me into a rematch, like the Red Bandanas guys did. So Thundros has learned Lightning. 40 damage against a group of enemies. Will that actually be useful? Oh, it's another Sam. I'll show you what I can do. Nah, it won't be useful in this fight. Wait, Kyre Blade? Kyre was the first owner of RPG Maker Pavilion. These references are kind of interesting. Makes me wonder if there's going to be any that I won't be aware of. Probably. Okay, I will say at the very least, if I did use Thundros' electric attack, it would be stronger than his regular attack. So you know what? Let's go ahead and try it out on the Spritz. Meanwhile, this sword will hopefully go down. There it goes. Okay, that was actually a pretty cool effect. Given the limited options you have with spell animations in Operation Maker, that was quite the effect. Are we getting a level every single fight? Laugh. Drops attack by 20 points. I can see that being useful. Excuse me a sec, I'm gonna take advantage of this free heal. I want some of that SP back. Challenge me again? No. Alright, so these guys at least allow us the option of saying yes or no. I'm very curious about something. He stepped pretty far back when I fought him. Would he keep stepping back every time? Surely not. No, no. You're not getting of this bridge unless you can beat me. Okay. Phoenix down. I like how it's spelled Phoenix with an F, like old Final Fantasy games. Alright, let's start with this attack. Let's go ahead and boost Gag's attack. And you know what? Let's go ahead and drop down that thing's attack because it probably has a strong attack. Well, it's not going to help with burn or peck, though, so... Hmm. Let's 
it's also strengthen Thundros. Yeah, strengthen Thundros so that he doesn't necessarily need to use his other spell. Petrify, as I said, not gonna work. I do not think I have to worry about losing this particular fight. By the way, these stat buffs and debuffs are completely stackable. Let's see how high we can get this before... Hold that thought. Let's see how high we can get that before th this thing is defeated. Also, we have a lot of health. Oh, darn. I was hoping to see what Thunderous was going to do with all that extra attack. Alright. New skill for Thunderous. Got a Mega Potion. What? My Lokimon lost? This cannot be! I'll fight you to the end. This is not how Lokimon battles work. But you know what? Fine. What did Thundros learn? Mega Claw, 70 damage? Sure. We'll go ahead and do that. Get Gags a little bit going here. Well, that's not helpful. Oh. See, that was that is what happens when you're not a Lokimon. Ah Can't hold on. Alright, well I'm gonna go back and heal again. Kinda of think of it, this seems to be a reference to Nugget Bridge in a way. It would have been more clever if we got five thousand dollars instead of five hundred. Really? Really? Pro tip, don't go back and heal. Because apparently, this does not get turned off. <sighs> Odds are the people at EGM did not catch this. On the other hand, I don't know what other games EGM wound up judging for that RPG Maker contest. Maybe the other ones kinda sucked. For all we know, this game was the only one that had a ton of effort put into it. That went significantly faster. Here, auto. Bye. So that was dumb. Ooh. Fancy. So is there a heal point here? Down is Lokimon Build Up Forest. Up is Purple Patch Palace. Well, I was not expecting a message. Let's see that message again. Go, Lokimon! Go level up! So, this place is solely for the sake of gaining some level zen? That is the assumption I am under. 
Hmm. Uh, monkey. Let's go for the monkey. Oh, it's supposed to represent that tiger. Wouldn't have thought that. So if we needed to, this would be a place to come grind. Even get a little bit of money from these things. Oh, he doesn't despawn. So be careful about that. Don't want to bump into it again thinking that it's about to disappear. Kind of taking a look around just in case there's some money lying around or something. Probably not. You know, if I can find a yawn here, I would be very curious what those guys are like. As far as, like, the battle portrait goes, does not seem to be any here, though. Alright. I'm hoping there's, like, a save point up here. Yeah, save and heal. Warp back to Island City. No, I don't think that's necessary. So then... What is this place going to be like? Anything like... Other gems in Pokemon? Well, I'm finally here. Automatic. The game's creator has done an interesting job creating music with sound effects. Welcome, Traveler. I sense your energy behind me. You seek the purple patch, do you not? Uh, yeah. Then you must pass our trials. I am white. I rep represent vigilance, tranquility. Try this again. I represent Vigilance, Tranquility, and Cold. Thus, my Lokimon type of choice is Ice. I am Red. I represent Passion, Strength, and Blood. Thus, my Lokimon type of choice is Fire. <laughs> you know, I totally expected that. Wake up! Ow. Hey, what was that for? You idiot. We have visitors. You ruined the whole mysterious old guy effect. Sorry. Well, at least do your intro. Um, what do I say? Just say something that sounds important. Um, okay. I'm <laughs> That should not be that funny, but it is. <sighs> there needs to be people active in my chat right now. Ow! To get the purple patch, you must face three separate challenges. One for myself, one from red, and one from blue. Once you have defeated all three of us, you may claim your prize. Look guys, I just walked all the way here and had to beat a bunch of random Lokimon trainers, and I'm in a hurry. Can't you just give me the patch and forget all this trials nonsense? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Ow! 
You must face our Lokimon in battle if you wish to obtain the purple patch. You must prove yourself worthy. Are you ready to challenge us? Ah, <sighs> sure. Red. Let's go. So, we got boss fights. That shouldn't take too long. Start with some mega clawing. Basically the same strategy I've been using. I wonder if this guy has an attack on hand, like a physical attack. Hmm, looks like this is gonna be kind of painful, potentially. So, I want to... Uh, we should be okay, though. Here, let's say some MP. SP. You know, it always throws me off when games rename MP to something else. S Strengthen Thundros so that he no longer necessarily needs to use that SP-consuming spell. Yep, that'll do. And possibly, perhaps, time to start healing. So, heal whoever. Oh. Alright. Not bad. Restore! Oh! Okay! Yeah! I'm fine with this. Now it's my turn. Kraken. Alright. Well, in that case, let's just go ahead and use up all our stuff. Since we get healed in between each fight. That's a strong attack. That thing totally has a strong attack. But I'm not terribly concerned at this moment. You're gonna have to stop doing that. Still alive. Might as well keep doing this. Don't need to heal just yet. Oh, this thing definitely has more health than the others. Alright, two down, one to go. Watch Blue have, like, the weakest Lokimon. Or heck, Watch Blue just give it to us. The patch, that is. One more trial left. Restore. Blue! Oh, you're gonna get it now! Huzzah! It's a buzz. I haven't fought a bu buzz yet, so... Maybe this will still be difficult? Then again, this is only the first gym fight, so not necessarily something to be too concerned about. Especially when we have something as overpowered- oh, never mind. Wow, you're like, incredible, man. You have proven yourself worthy.
when you combine red and blue, it becomes purple. Whoa. Where'd they go? Weird. Oh well. And we got the purple patch. Time to go to the Lokimon Challenge. Uh, there's probably nothing else to explore in this room. Wait, can I not leave? Oh, I have to press a button. Weird. Alright, one more heal. And save. Okay, so... I kind of need to go on my next episode break. I'd like to go just a little bit further, but... Eh. It's time for our next episode break. Our third and final episode break for this stream. And when we come back, we're going to head to the Lokimon League. Ooh. It's exciting.